with pace. How good was that from Payne Haas? Two years ago, this mining club hit rock bottom and now a shot at Premiership glory awaits. Brisbane are into the grand final. It's one of the great turnarounds and we have brought in our resident Queenslander, Jonathan Thurston. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Happy Rose. Grand Final Day. Oh, I always love it when a Queenslander's on the panel here, but uh, a remarkable turnaround for the Broncos. Wooden Spoon back in 2020. What has been the biggest change over the past three years? Oh, I think those young boys that have come through that system, um, they've endured the hard times and now they're reaping the benefits of their hard work and their dedication to the club. So, yeah, it's been a massive turnaround. Obviously, Kevy getting Adam Reynolds there as well. They've really lacked that general on the field to guide those young forward pack and the outside backs around the field. And uh, having him there, he's certainly been the buy. Uh, I think the best buy the, of the Broncos uh, history, Adam Reynolds. So if he wins uh, tonight, um, yeah, it'll be huge for his career. It spoke about the young boys, JT. Uh, Kurt Capel and Adam Reynolds, the only two that have played in grand finals before. Will that make a difference today? You've been in two grand finals. One uh, is a more experienced yeah, player, one is yeah, a younger definitely. player. definitely. I thought the Broncos were a little bit nervous last week in that first 20 minutes. I think if the Broncos can match the... Uh, Panthers in that first 20 minutes then they've got opportunities to score points uh, all over the park but yeah a little bit nervous in that first 20 last week so if they have that same impact uh, tonight the Panthers will make them pay. Mm. Yeah. JT if we continue on the talk about the young players we talk about Reese Walsh he's had a brilliant <laughs> season absolutely incredible with the victorious Maroons do you think he's the X factor for the Broncos? Yeah definitely he's the one that can uh, break open the game uh, today. Penrith Panthers, they were the best defensive side in the competition. Uh, the Broncos are the second best defensive side and, and the best Panthers are best attack and Broncos are second best attack as well. So it's the two best teams this year going at it. This is the one that we wanted and Reese Walsh has played in big games, Origin, as you mentioned. So uh, he's definitely got that X factor and I thought the way that the Broncos played last week, they'll take that mindset into tonight. Uh, there was a lot, of, I think they had 23 offloads uh, against the Warriors last week. So if they can create that second phase play, um, you know, they could cause some havoc there. JT, the last time the Broncos were in the grand final was back in 2015. Your <laughs> Cowboys uh, broke their hearts. What's the vibe like in Queensland? Is the whole state getting behind them? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, with the Penrith side, you've got to respect what they've done over the last, you know, four years. Um, but they're certainly a, a polarising team. And uh, definitely, I think everyone up in, in Queensland are probably, you know, back in the Broncos, you either love the Broncos or hate the Broncos, and uh, I'm a bit like that myself, so <laughs> I've brushed me as a teenager, so I've certainly got no uh, 30 uh, years later, but... That, um, that was yeah. a good decision for them? Yeah, yeah, yeah it worked well. Uh, yeah, certainly, uh, you know, I played a lot of footy with uh, those boys at, at the Broncos, so uh, yeah, certainly back for them tonight. You haven't yeah. aged a day either from those shots. You probably should win. Don't know about that. <laughs> uh, who's your tip for the Clive Churchill medalist? I'm going to go Reese Walsh. I think he's the key to the Broncos winning. Um, we've seen what he did last week. A uh, little bit of space and his explosion off the mark is, is key. So I think if Adam Reynolds and Ezra Mam can get him in certain situations on the field, then he can put the ed defensive ed edges of the Panthers under the pump. So, yeah, I'm going to tip Reese Walsh. Now I want a decision from you about something else. So Billy Slade has re-signed as a Queensland coach, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, are you going to be working for us, Channel 9, on the sideline, or are you going to be assistant coach? You can't have it both ways. I want a decision. Uh, yeah, just because it's you, I'll let you delay it, but I want a decision by next week. No, give it to us. Uh, I want to hear it now. Why are you giving him yeah. a whole week? I knew week. you two would jump uh, on him. That's, 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 uh, yeah. that's an easy decision. I'm grown to the bone. So <laughs> if Billy asked me, I'm back there again. Oh. You're, you're package deal, hey? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what about conditions today? It is going to be an absolute scorch. It could be the hottest grand final in history. There's a fair bit of wind around. Who will, who will that uh, favour? Um, yeah, I think the Broncos. Yeah. Uh, they're probably the, the younger and, and fitter uh, pack. Um, the kicking games from both number seven is going to be key tonight. Where they put the ball, how those the, the, the defensive teams start their sets is going to be key. Um, Nathan Cleary and Adam Reynolds have got the two best kicking games, general play kicking games in the in the game. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that battle. So um, yeah, that'll be key. JT, thanks for popping by. All the very Enjoy. best. Good to see you. Final day, baby. <laughs> yes, guys. Exactly. Exactly. Bronx fans, exactly. the Queenslanders are waiting out here to get your autograph uh, coming.